What is going on guys? We are back with another video on Turdzilla. Hope you guys are enjoying the rebuild Turdzilla series. You see on our construction, Celine bumpers on the way. Still gotta buy a wrap color for it, but we're gonna install a digital dash in this thing. Uh, this thing is just gonna really, really transform. Um, my goal here is to have a really fun four or 500 horsepower ripper. If you guys have calculated the math, well, it's gonna be 500. We're probably gonna boost this thing here soon. Uh, we got the Mega Squirt 3 in it. It makes 360 wheel NA. I definitely wanna drive it NA. You guys know I'm a big boost guy. So we're gonna get this digital cluster installed. This car has really, really gotten beat up over the years, but uh, we're putting some love into it. Let's jump into it. Ignore the dirty car. Like I said, I mean, we're peeling all this stuff off. You can see the original electric green, the Mustang lifestyle decal. That's the secret to the uh, the overlay where you can see it, you know, through the wrap. So we got to pull the rest of this wrap off, but uh, replace some panels, but we're, we're getting there. Right here, we have the DD EFI uh, digital cluster. This is set up for a new edge. So we're gonna go ahead and wire this up. There's a few things, um, power ground right off the rip. So we gotta get those plugged in, plugs into USB, but we also have to tap a few things for our turn signals and stuff like that. So this thing will pick it up. So let's hop into the interior. Okay, so Turdzilla's interior looking pretty rough. We gotta replace this airbag, it looks like crap. The old cluster, um, we're gonna go ahead and pull these two seven millimeter bolts out, pop that out, and we'll get started with pulling this cluster out. Okay, so two bolts out of the top, takes that other piece off, little pick, takes the headlight knob off, and four bolts on the cluster, pulls the cluster out. We also took the airbag out, and I can't find any airbags, so sad face. I guess we sold them all. So this is gonna be your difference, fancy. And this has a little plastic cover on it to keep her nice, especially while installing. But that is what that looks like. We're gonna get that installed. Four bolts, we'll put it in, but we do have to tap some wires for turn signals, a few other little things, power ground. So we're gonna go ahead and get that started. So the dash does require some trimming. So basically some trimming here None of this you will see, obviously, when it's done. We also have some trimming here, out to there, out to there, and a little bit over here to fit the big dash in. Not too big of a deal. You can use other tools. I'm just using a little snip. Snip it right off, pretty easy. Okay, so I've mocked it up in there, it fits. Uh, don't be like me, I accidentally knocked that little uh, bolt for the last bolt. So I'll only have three to hold it in, but that'll be fine. Yeah, I was just trimming back there and then it just snapped right off, but it's fine. It's still got one, two, three. That'll be perfectly fine. And you won't even see it. Okay guys, so I have powered the dash up, verified that it does turn on. And now we need to hook up. This looks like a wiring mess. It'll all get cleaned up, but we're gonna have to go to our mega squirt go to our options port and plug in I and K. Port right here, these are can high, low. Take your two green and white wire. Uh, they're also labeled can high and low. We're gonna make a simple connection there and tidy this all up so you don't see it. And then I believe that's the last connection we need to make for it to at least uh, interact with the ECU. We got the USB plugged in there. We got all the uh, taps back there for fuel level turn signals. So we're gonna see what happens. Took the airbag out because I thought I had airbags, but apparently I'm out. So I might have to put the crappy one back in. All right guys, checking out the DD EFI cluster for the first time. Looking pretty sweet. Um, we get a nice keyboard with it and uh, this is going to be the first time driving with it. We can go ahead and change the dash on the fly just like that. Um, I was actually going to change over uh, the speedometer. I'm not sure if the speedometer is going to work or not, but check this out. We'll go right over to a Cobra cluster. There are plenty more on this thing too, but here's a Cobra cluster. Looking pretty sweet. 
Uh, the one thing is you do have to close out some of your other tabs because it will get a little laggy if you have multiple clusters running at the same time. As soon as you close those, it gets pretty responsive. Um, but overall, it's a pretty cool thing to be looking at for sure. All right, guys, we are cruising along 60 miles an hour. I don't think we've lost anything yet. <laughs> There's definitely still something a little goofy in the front end. I can tell you that. Oh, boy. It's also really stiff. <laughs> uh, this car still needs a lot of love, but it does drive now, which is sick. So that's a big improvement. Uh, I think we should try to do a little second gear pull or something like that. See what happens. this thing's kind of got a clean wide open throttle in a while so 360 wheel horsepower it's not bad not fast but not slow that's for sure i know some of you guys will really like this this is the s650 fox body dash it's actually really cool um you see we have a boost gauge there it's not it's not being used yet but you know it will be being used check that out that's a pretty cool one Battery voltage, nice, speedometer, tack, and coolant temp over there. It's not as glary for me, FYI, but coolant temp, and it actually has a number there, which is cool. Really cool. Um, you can get some data on the fly. You can also do some tuning on the fly. You can start uh, some auto-tune. You have a full version of Tuner uh, Studio here. So right now we have auto-tuning running. So it's fixing up some of that VE table that we can't do while we're driving, which is pretty freaking sick. It's like having a full on laptop in your cluster. Let's try a little, here's that gear. And not bad. That's not bad. This thing, this thing's not super slow. It sounds pretty cool too. It's really loud on the dyno, but it's not that loud on the street, which is crazy. If someone has a GT airbag, let me know. This thing looks awful. This thing definitely sounds pretty incredible, though. Kind of sounds like a Fox body, honestly. I think it feels like 360. It's been a while since I've driven something not crazy powerful, but it gets out of its own way. I think 150 more horsepower might might do us some more. I don't know if that little gauge tells you anything, but we got some plans in the works, guys. But for right now, I mean, seems like it's running pretty good. Oh, the suspension's really, really sloppy though. I need to do uh, a real big overhaul on the front end on this thing. <laughs> the idle on this car is so rowdy. <laughs> Sounds so cool. You can also see the turn signal is working. Pretty sweet. All working pretty good and fuel level, obviously. Really nice to have. Look at that digital dash. I think it's pretty cool. Do you see this? Dude, yeah, that is sick. Fox body right here. It's like having a laptop, dude. That is so sick. I was tuning while I was driving, dude. Can you stream on that thing? <laughs> I mean, you probably could. <laughs> oh yeah, so you got that. I got the Cobra one queued up too change it on the fly that's sick dude all right turdzilla made it so turdzilla made it that's the longest it's driven in a long time 